name. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says, verse 12, And on the morrow, when they were come from Bethany, he was hungry. Talking about Jesus. And seeing a fig tree afar off, having leaves, he came, if haply he might find anything thereon. And when he came to it, he found nothing but leaves. For the time of figs was not yet. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee henceforth forever. And his disciples heard it. His disciples heard it. Verse 20. And in the morning as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter, calling to remembrance, said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which thou cursest is withered away. And Jesus answering said unto him, Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea. And shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he hath said, which he hath said, which he said, shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he said. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. I want to go back up to verse 4. And Jesus answered and said unto it, No man eat fruit of thee hereafter forever. And his disciples heard it. Amen. Amen. I'd like to use for a topic on this morning, speak to it. Amen. Speak to it. I don't know what your it may be today. I don't know what your it is. Maybe a situation, a circumstance. It may be sickness. It may be a problem. It may be a demonic spirit. But speak to it. Amen. Yes. Speak to it. You need to put it out in the atmospheric realm. Amen. Words are spirit. And the word of God is not just spirit, but it is life. So when you speak to it, you want to make sure that you use the word of God that will empower your speech. Amen. And make it come to pass. Speak to it. You have to speak to a thing. You need to speak of it. You need to speak to it. Amen. And cause it, amen, to come into manifestation. Amen. Amen. If there are things that you want in life, you should speak it out of your mouth. Amen. Amen. I shall do it. I can and I will do it. Amen. Amen. That is an affirmation. Amen. That months ago, amen, came into my spirit. Amen. I shall. I can and I will. I can and I will. I can do it. I will do it. Amen. You got to speak it out of your mouth. Don't just have it in your mind speaking it on the inside. Put that thing in at the atmosphere. Amen. Yes, yes. I can and I will. I can and I will. I will do what I can do through the Lord. Put it in the atmosphere. You got to speak to the thing. If you want it to be so, speak to it. Yes. Amen. Oh. Uh, one of the things that the Lord did not mind doing, uh, amen, is speaking it into existence. Uh, amen. You 
got to speak it before you see it. You got to say it. Huh? Amen. You got to say it out of your mouth huh? as a manifestation that you have faith huh? that God is going to bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. You got to speak to it. And there are some things that you will have to call it into existence. Uh, hallelujah. When I began to think about the word of uh, God, uh, amen, I looked uh, amen, how Jesus spoke uh, into situations. Uh, amen, he spoke uh, amen, concerning conditions. Uh, amen, and when he spoke it, uh, the condition understood uh, that it had to release uh, the individual. Uh, the Ha, he understood how they were going to have to leave 
need that house. Huh? And the day the devil gonna leave your house. Huh? I said he gonna leave that vessel. Huh? He gonna leave out of your mind. Huh? He gonna leave out of your body. Huh? He gonna leave out of your spirit. Huh? He got to get up out of there. Huh? Cause we gonna speak. Huh? To that thing right now. Huh? That you must release them. Huh? You must come out of there. Huh? You told me. You got to speak to the man. Jesus spoke to it. Huh? And Jesus said, come out of him. Huh? Come on out. Huh? And they came out huh? because he spoke to it. Huh? I said he spoke to it. Huh? And it came out. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whenever he was dealing with demons for the most part, you see that he spoke to it. Huh? And he told it what to do. Huh? So you need to tell some things what to do. Huh? You need to tell poverty. Huh? Get up out of here. Huh? You got to go. Huh? You got to get up out of here. Huh? Tell slow for this. Huh? Get up out of here. Huh? You got to go. Huh? You got to tell it leave. Huh? You got to tell it leave. Huh? And then you tell it to leave. Huh? And then you speak. Huh? You speak to prosperity. Huh? And you tell prosperity. Huh? I'm opening up the door. Huh? You come on in here. Huh? I'm opening up the door. Huh? You come on in here. Huh? You tell me to huh? Come on in here. Huh? You tell it to come on in here. Huh? You tell the person. Hallelujah. They can hear. 
And I have not gone crazy. <laughs> I have not gone crazy. Time with Israel uh, was going through. Uh, and the Lord said unto them, ha, these rocks ha, are going to be testimonies ha, against you. Ha, Lord, have mercy. Ha, don't tell me what can't hear ha, when God's in his business ha, and doing his work. Ha, just because you don't know ha, how things work, ha, it does not mean ha, that it does not exist ha, and that it's not real. Because when God speaks a thing, ha, it is so. Yes, yes. My God. Got to speak to it. Huh? And I see here, huh? and the Bible lets us know huh? that Jesus was hungry this day. Huh? Amen. And he saw huh? that there were leaves on the fig tree. Huh? Now, huh? I had looked over the fig tree before, huh? and basically, huh? the figs are supposed to come huh? before the leaves come. Huh? And so, huh? if you see leaves, huh? you expect huh? there to be things huh? in that. Ha, oh my God, ha, there were leaves ha, on this tree. Ha, and this is where we have to be careful ha, that we don't be like that tree. Ha, that we don't have no fruit. Ha, but we got leaves ha, blowing in the wind. Ha, amen. But when God ha, come to our tree, ha, searching for some fruit, ha, he ought to find fruit. Ha, and we don't want to be ha, a fruit that's barren, ha, that has no fruit on it. That tree ha, that has no fruit on it. Ha, when God ha, is looking for fruit. Ha. Now let's look at what happened ha, to this fig tree. Ha. Yes, Lord. Ha. The fig tree ha, was there. Ha. Had leaves. Ha. It looked like ha. had pigs on it. Ha. Was prepared ha, to do what it was designed to do. Ha. And that's to feed ha, mankind. Ha. But when Jesus ha, got to the tree ha, being hungry ha, he felt around ha, on the tree ha, on the leaf ha, of the leaves. Ha. See God God ha, is going beneath your surface. Ha. Oh, yes. Ha. Some things ha, are surface level. Ha. Some people praise ha, is surface level. Ha. They glorify God ha, on the surface. Ha. But God is going deeper. Ha. He's getting under your knees ha, to see if there's a real praise. Ha. I said a real praise ha, is when things going wrong. Ha. I still bless the Lord ha, at all times. Ha. And his praise ha, continue ha, to be in my mouth. Ha. That's the fig ha, underneath the leaves. Ha. See, the fig ha, is underneath the leaves. Ha. But when it's only leaves, ha, I can only praise them ha, when it's going good. Ha. I can only praise them ha, when it's doing what I want. Ha. That's just leaves ha, that blow in the wind. Ha. But the real fruit ha, is under the leaves. Yeah. My God. Huh. You might have a pretty dance, ha, and you can do that dance, ha, as long, ha, as the music is playing, ha, and that's leaves, baby, ha, cause when the music starts, ha, it's the dance still in your feet, ha, I said it's a dance, ha, to give God the glory, ha, still in your feet, ha, and you can't praise God, ha, without music, ha, that's just leaves. He's looking for some fruit. Because whether the leaves are there or not, ha, the fruit will show forth. Ha. Yes. Oh, yeah, the real fruit ha, will show forth. Ha. And Jesus is hungry. Ha, and he comes to the fig tree. Ha, and he feels around ha, trying to get some fruit. Ha, and he don't find any. Ha. Now, wait a minute. Ha. Lord, have mercy. Ha. So this makes me ha, begin to think about ha, that situation. Ha. He finds none. Ha. So he must have felt around ha, in more than one area. Ha. Up the tree, ha, the lady, ha, it's some on the left hand, ha, it wasn't nothing in the front, ha, and he felt around in the tree, ha, trying to find some leaves, ha, and trying to find, ha, some fruit, ha, of figs, ha, and he felt around the other side, ha, and still no figs, ha, and when he realized, ha, this tree, ha, got a lot of big tree, big leaves, ha, but it don't have figs, ha, it's representing, ha, it's an imposter, ha, it's an imposter, ha, what do you mean, ha? Imposter, ha? I can do what you do, ha? I can say the things you say, ha? But I don't have no life, ha? To back it up, ha? Your life, ha? The way you live, ha? Is your proof to God, ha? You might be able to say, ha? Hallelujah, ha? Clap your hands, ha? Louder than the people of God, ha? Stomp your feet, ha? Louder than the people of God, ha? I'll sing, ha? The people 
people of God, I'll play. The people of God, I'll preach. The people of God, but there is no faith. But we don't live the same way. Yes. It's an imposter. Yes. It says I'm the real thing until you get under the surface. Mm. Ah. Jesus goes under the surface and he walks and he feels, he feels around in the tree that perhaps he might find some things. Do you have any fruit anywhere? He's looking for some fruit. He's looking for some fruit. And he doesn't find any. And so what does he do? He speaks to it. He speaks to the tree. See, God can speak to a thing for good, or he can speak to a thing for bad. And you can speak to a thing for good. And you can speak. You know what I mean? The Bible says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yes. You can kill somebody with your lips, mm -hmm. with your tongue. You can kill them with that. But you can also give life to somebody with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Your tongue can kill, but your tongue can also heal. It depends on how you use it. Mm -hmm. There's a many people that have been so wounded, people have killed them with their mouths have beat them down to the ground with their mouths. People don't have to physically hit you. They can emotionally beat you down. Yes. And a lot of times the emotional abuse is worse than the physical abuse. Yes. The physical heals, but sometimes the emotional damage, yes. yeah. unless they come to Jesus, Sometimes it never heals. Now, yes, God can use other people. You can sit down on the couch. And perhaps they will be able, maybe, to help you. I don't know how far they're going to go because they don't know how deep the real need is. Mm -hmm. Only God knows that. Mm -hmm. But he is a wonderful counselor. He knows you better than anybody else, and he will speak to that thing inside of you that's going on, that turmoil that's going on. He will speak to it. He will speak to it. Jesus began to speak to the tree that wasn't bearing any fruit. And he said unto that tree, No man eat fruit of you. Of thee, hence, hereafter, forever. You didn't have fruit when I came to get fruit. Nobody is ever going to eat fruit from this tree again. Never. He spoke to it. Yes. It heard. Yes. The whole tree now seems to have an understanding. Why, how can you say the tree has an understanding? Now, you know, some of us know, if you really want to kill a tree, First of all, you need to kill the root. Mm -hmm. You don't kill the root, you don't kill the tree. If you just simply chop the tree down, the tree really is still alive. You simply kill that part that you decapitated off of the rest of that tree. The roots are still down in the ground. And you will start seeing some things begin to sprout up. All right? Because the tree is still alive. But you have to get to the root. And see, when God speaks to a thing, hallelujah. See, you need the root. Amen, amen, amen. I guess the devil don't want this word to go out. What I was saying is when God speaks to a thing, listen, he speaks to the whole thing. He speaks to the whole thing. He spoke to that tree. When Jesus spoke to that tree, amen, the tree heard what he said. And the next day, as I was saying, the very next day, when Jesus and his disciples were going by, Peter brought back to remembrance about what Jesus had spoken to that tree. Jesus had spoke to it. And he looked at the tree and 
and the, the, the roots, the roots of the tree was dried up. The roots of the tree was dried up. The whole tree was withering away just by God speaking, Jesus speaking to it. And just as he gave death to that tree, he didn't give life to anything he speaks to. Yes. Hallelujah. He can give life. Amen. There was a damsel. She was about 12 years old. And they came to Jesus. The young lady had died. And they were crying around her. And Jesus said, well, you know, they took him to where the young lady was. And Jesus went and he said, the, lady, the girl, she's not dead. Huh? Amen. They laughed him to scorn, the Bible said. Huh? Amen. What was he doing? And he was speaking. Huh? Amen. And Lisa that day. Huh? Amen. And God said, it's alive. It's alive. Huh? Amen. And no door, no dead. Huh? But if God said it, it's what he said. Huh? Amen. He went all in the room. Huh? He put everybody out of there. Huh? There was disbelievers. Huh? Amen. He took the little girl by the hand. Huh? Amen. And spoke to her and said, I say unto thee, arise. Huh? Amen. She opened up her eyes. Huh? Amen. He lifted up. Huh? He told the parents to give us something to eat. Huh? I come to tell you huh, that the Lord huh, will speak to that thing. Huh? But sometimes huh, he's telling you huh, and he's telling me huh, with the power huh, he has given unto us. Huh? The Bible says huh, that after huh, the Holy Ghost huh, has come upon you, huh, ye shall huh, receive power. Huh? Yes, you have uh, the power uh, of God uh, on the inside uh, to speak uh, to it. Yes, hallelujah. Speak to it. Yes. Say uh, that it was uh, withering, withering away. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, but just in case, huh, you don't believe what I just said, that you have the power to do it, huh? Now listen, huh, when we got down to verse 20, huh, it lets us know that Peter, huh, saw that the tree, huh, was withering away, that it withered away, huh? It was because, huh, Jesus had spoken to it, huh? And then it got down further, huh? And Jesus began to tell them, huh? He said, verily I say unto you, huh, that whosoever shall say, huh, unto this mountain, huh? In other words, if you speak to it, ha, if you tell it what to do, ha, it's going to obey you. Ha. Lord, have mercy. Ha. Some of us had mountains in our lives. Ha. Amen. And God just want you ha, to speak to that mountain. Ha. Yes, there are things ha, that God ha, don't want moved. Ha. And if that's one of those things, ha, then you don't need ha, to speak because that's not the will of God. Ha. But when it's time ha, for you to stretch out ha, on your faith, ha, and trust God uh, to remove an obstacle uh, that is like a mountain uh, in your life. Uh, you need to open your mouth uh, and speak to it. Uh, tell that thing uh, to move uh, far from me. Uh, move uh, away from my family. Uh, get away. Uh, get away. Uh, I command you uh, to move. Yes, hallelujah. Speak to it. He gave them permission. He let them know. Huh? If you would just speak to it, ha, and believe, ha, it'll do, ha, what you say, ha. Because listen here, ha, Jesus said, ha, that we would do, ha, the works that he did, ha, but greater works, ha, than those, ha. We got to learn, ha, how to operate, ha, like Jesus, ha, operated, ha, in this earth, ha. He said, ha, that he's given us, ha, the honor, ha, that the Father, ha, had given to him, ha, in other words, ha. I give you power huh, to do huh, like I did huh, when I was on the earth. Huh, and what I did huh, is I spoke to it. Huh, and now uh, it is your time uh, to speak huh, to it. Yeah. You got to speak to it. You want it to happen, you're going to have to speak to it. Huh? And yes, huh, you want to make sure that you have incorporated prayer, huh? Because you want to make sure it's going to work, huh? You want to make sure it's the will of God, huh? Hallelujah, huh? The Bible tells us, huh? Amen about Joshua, huh? When Israel, huh? Was in battle, huh? 
Joshua prayed ha, to the Lord, ha, amen, ha, that the sun ha, would stand still. Ha, but I want you to see this. Ha, you don't see God. Ha, just make the sun ha, stand still. Ha, Joshua, ha, he looked up ha, and he spoke ha, to the sun. Ha, he said, sun, ha, stand still. Ha, and the sun, ha, it listened ha, to Joshua ha, because Joshua ha, had the authority ha, after he prayed. Ha, to the Father, ha, to make the Son ha, stand still, speak to it. When God empowers you to do a thing, then do it. Do it. Speak the word and watch it happen. Just speak to it. Just speak to it and watch it happen. Hallelujah. What has not been shall be because you spoke to it. Because I spoke to it after God had given us the power and the authority to do just that. Speak to it. Somebody needs to speak to it today. Whatever that it is, you need to speak to it, but you need to believe that what you say shall come to pass. Hallelujah. You need to speak to it. You need to declare. Sometimes you need to declare out of your mouth today. I'm getting the Holy Spirit today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not tomorrow, but today. Yeah. And then open up your mouth and say, Lord, come on in, because I'm ready. Hallelujah. Speak to it. Yeah. In Jesus' name, speak to it. Yeah. Speak, I say. Yeah. At this time, our praise and worship team is preparing to come back before you, we ask you to go to Give the Five, amen, and go to Cash App, whichever one suits you best, amen, and give your devotions, your deduct, your, no, not your devotions, donation, but your donation, thank you so much, give your donation, amen, amen, that the Lord may continue to bless this ministry. Amen. They will go forth in his will. Amen. In the highways and the byways for those that are lost. Amen. And to whomsoever the Lord will send us. Receive the praise and worship team at this time. Amen. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody. Do me like Jesus, he's my friend. Oh, hey, nobody can sing. Do me like Jesus, hey, nobody. Do me like the Lord, hey, nobody. Do me like Jesus, he.
Amen. I think we may have two parts today. We had to stop it. Amen. And continue on. We started um, buffing. Amen. So go back to the first part that we have and then go to the second part so you can get the entire message. Amen. Because we were determined to finish. Amen. What God had for us to give up to you. You want to get the whole thing. All right. So go to both parts so that you can get the whole message on today. Amen. God is just so wonderful. Amen. We want you to remember that we love you. Amen. But God loves you best. And we want you to be blessed in Jesus' name. <laughs> 